Hello people, this is Average Adam, and we're doing something a little bit different today. Um, aside from Heroes of the Storm, I wanted to show you guys what else I like to play. Um, I am a fan of Hearthstone, I was playing it since beta, I got in fairly early I believe. Um, so just for funsies here, I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay me playing it, and I'm actually playing a Randuin Rin deck. I'm not so worried about the actual, uh, you know, leveling up and ranking up until Max Ramus comes out this month, and until then there really isn't worth any playing, you know, trying to ladder up, because there's going to be new cards and the meta's going to change weekly, so this is Randuin Rin, just for fun, since I'm already level 20 and stuff. So, the way I consider Randuin Rin is every card in your deck may not have a targetable effect. It must have something random, do something random to somebody, as long as it's not a targetable effect. Of course, if I get something like this, you know, from an effect, I'll use it, but... Uh, as long as it's not targetable, it's a random effect. I will gladly use it in the Randuin Rin deck. And as you can see, we're against a mage today, and he just pinged me in the face. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just heal myself up here. Be okay. We're fine for a few moments here. Um, I don't use Faceless Manipulator in this deck, by the way. I see a lot of Randuin Rins run that, but that's targetable. You get to choose who that becomes. It's not official Randuin. So... He throws down a kobold. Um, best choice of action for this one would be to play this, but if I wait a turn, I can do that. And then I can stomp it out. Let's do that. Nothing really I can do this turn anyway. Could have coined out of mind games, but I don't like coining for mind games. That could end up being very bad for me. So next turn, we'll just coin out a kodo and make sure we stomp that. I could take a little extra damage from him until then. And he has a polymorph in his hand, so... If I give him a Kodo to Polymorph, it's better than him Polymorphing, like, say, my 6-6 six, six or, six, six, or my Ragnaros. Alright, what you got, Mage? What you got? What you got? You are going to throw out a Water Elemental. Well, I have just the answer to that one, but first, we're going to go... Ooh, look at that. We're going to go Coin and then Kodo. Goodbye to your guy. And then we'll see how he wants to deal with that. I can always polymorph his guy next turn, too. Let's see here. Of course, I can always mind games also, but this guy's kind of a big threat. He needs to be dealt with. Frostbolt, huh? He's going to hit me in the face now, right? Yeah, he's going to kill him next turn. Ouch. Okay. Well, I think that the option for this one... <laughs> yeah, because we're totally going to play Mad Bomber. Knowing my luck, he'd uh, kill me. Go ahead and do that. Polymorph that so that we don't get hit and frozen again. Not that frozen really matters, but that's less damage we'll be taking. He's going to go ahead and ping my Kodo, I assume. Yeah, there's the ping on the Kodo. And you're going to hit me with that 1-1? One, one? Hmm? The little glowy sheep there? Get a 1-1 one, one me? Plays a secret. Okay. I like secrets. But we're going to go ahead and mad bomber here and see if we can kill that sheep. There he goes, the sheep. That works for me. And now let's mind games and see what we get, shall we? I'll take a 4-4 four, four ogre. That's fine by me. I paid the same cost for it. I am okay with it. Mind you, it doesn't help me at all. <laughs> Not in the least. At the least. But... Let's see what he's got. Polymorph there. I knew he had that. Gonna ping the sheep. Good. I'm guessing that's a vaporize up there, so I'm probably just gonna have to attack into it. It's not giving me much of a choice in that matter. And vaporize, right? No ice bear. Okay. That's fine by me. Let's go ahead and thought steal next. And play a water elemental. That sounds cool. Alright. We're good. We'll just sit here and build up a nice little army. Look at that golden water elemental. He's so cool looking. Alright, well I know just what to do with one of you. Fireball, my guy. How mean. Arcane Intellect. Okay. Alright, so the choice here would be to Kodo one of your guys. Smash you. 
I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead. He's in flame strike turn, so I don't want to go too crazy here. Let's just go ahead and heal. We don't want to get like pyro down or anything. Let's just keep board control for now, and we'll be fine. Let's see here, stone tusk boar. Yep, there you go. And he's gonna pop the other thing. Good. Six mana left. What you got? Gonna use your other fireball? That'd be fine by me. No, he's not. Well then, we go for broke. Ragnaros. Eight damage incoming. All right. I'm guessing he's got his other polymorph though, and he's gonna polymorph my poor Ragnaros into a sheep. Aren't you? comes the polymorph. It's gonna be a sad day for Rag. I'm ready. Look at No, frozen. Sad face. An explosion. Sad face again. Oh, how sad. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here to fix this, shall we? Um, these guys are pretty much useless at the moment. We can always throw this guy out. I can't actually hit any of his guys, so let's go ahead and get some more cards. Maybe we'll pull something nice out. Arcane Explosion is nice, but not enough. We're going to freeze that so it can't attack me next turn. Hmm. I think we're just going to throw that away. Killing off that, and now he has to burn a spell in order to kill these guys. Which I am perfectly okay with, and there's another 8 damage to your face, guaranteed. He's going to ping my Kodo for sure, and I don't know what he's going to do to Rag yet. But we'll see. We shall see. Hmm. Well, we're waiting. Hmm. Don't know if the mage can defeat Rag, not without his other sheep. Another water elemental, okay. There have been a lot of those this game. Frozen Rag again. And I'm gonna go ahead and tag that, yep. That's gone. Okay then. Yes, Sarah. Here's where we have choices. I think he, we're gonna throw out you Sarah. I yeah. Dream Those dream cards will nice and help us. There goes the water elemental, that's good. And a dream card, I will take it. It's a laughing sister, that's cool by me. And he's in big trouble. Two legendaries that he just can't seem to deal with. Oh, there's the flame strike, so there goes one of them. And he's gonna slowly whittle down my Ysera. But I'm gonna start to flood my board now and do some serious damage to him, so let's go ahead and throw down a Demolisher, a Laughing Sister, and a Swordsmith. And then heal myself to keep myself up nice and full. There you go, you have a field to deal with. Have fun. And we got ourselves a Yasera Awakens, that's nice. Add more damage to the Laughing Sister, cool. It can't be touched, so a four, that's a Yeti essentially that can't be touched, which is pretty scary. I think I got game this turn, because I don't quite see how he can handle this one. It's probably an Ice Block, actually. He's going to hang on for dear life. Their Flame Strike, good. I'm still alive, though. Alright, we're going to go ahead and attack this one, see what happens. It was a vaporize, good. Bye bye, laughing sister. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and throw down you. Now that's safe to have people out again. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw down. No, we don't wanna do that actually. Another random. That's gonna hurt you, Sarah. That's not good. Let's throw this guy out instead. That works for me. And guess what? If Sarah awakens, that would be game. <laughs> Well, that was a look at my Randu and Rin deck in action. Let's go ahead and pop out of here and show you the deck real quick. And here is my Randu and Rin deck. We run two Mind Vision, two Young Priestess, two Knife Jugglers, one Lone Walker Cho, two Mad Bombers, two Swordsmiths, one Nat Pagel, two Thought Steals, two Demolishers, two Mind Control Techs. Master Overspark, two Mind Games, one Elite Torn Chieftain, two Stampeding Kodos, one Gelbin Mechatork, Sylvanas Runner, Baron Geddon, Ragnaros, 
Nose Dormu, and Yasera. So I'm going to go ahead and put a link to this deck down below in case you guys want to try it out. It's it's silly. It's not meant to actually win games all the time, but it's fun. Uh, let me know if you guys like these. If you want me to do a little bit more Hearthstone coverage, I am actually going to do a lot of Nax Ramus co uh, coverage when it comes out and probably show off the actual campaign on this channel. So let me know what you think, and I will talk to you all next time.